President George Weah and his lieutenants, now led by the Secretary General of the CDC, Mr. Jefferson Kuchi. Mr. Weah ignited this plane. When he elected to abuse his office by attacking and characterizing Ambassador Brown because of his different opinion and views about how the country is run. That public pronouncement by the president, and let us remind the public that everything rises and falls on leadership. Mr. Weir, as president of the country, who took an oath to protect and defend the Constitution and every citizen of Liberia, neglected his responsibility when he signaled out a citizen of Liberia, Ambassador Brown, because of his preference of a rival candidate to Mr. Weir. That signal has been picked up by lieutenants of Mr. Weir. Mr. Cody, in the last few days, have drawn up what we believe to be a calculated plan to intimidate, to harass, and to frighten the opposition, especially the CPP, into submission. Of course, we know that it is a big attempt. Of course, we know that this government has lost every moral will, and the Liberian people are determined to show them the door. They cannot frighten us. But what is scary is that this president, who has taken oath, will not only ignite a flame that has the potential to undermine the peace and security of the state, but will remain silent when his supporters and key lieutenants drum up these kinds of statements and threats and intimidation to silence the opposition. President Weah and his government have a constitutional responsibility to protect free speech. They have a constitutional responsibility to protect free assembly. This is not negotiable in a democracy. This is not negotiable. We cannot compromise that. This is a sacred responsibility of Mr. Weir. And we take seriously the attempt on the life of Ambassador Brown and all opposition that find themselves in serious situation. It will not is fast becoming our pariah in the eyes of the international Why Mr. Weir leaves the country in flee in crisis when mothers are still struggling on how they are even going to feed their children this Christmas? Mr. Weir is packing In the face of the Christmas season that everyone looked to, what has Mr. Weir done? He's increased the prices of rice. 
basic component. Without addressing the income situation, what will damage GDP? What will? Distinguished members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, if the mission last night was to frighten the Liberian people, into abandoning the entire sovereign rally, it has just ended as a liability. It has just strengthened our resolve. Let me say to Mr. Weir, to Mr. Cook, and to this government, don't think Your sinister plans against the Liberian people will go without consequence. The people are determined to show up. They will show up. They will rally. Civil servants, in the last five years that you've reduced to nothing, made poorer unjustifiably, will show up market women that you've kept up three o'clock at night wondering how they'll send their children to school will show up young people that you deny the opportunity of jobs and income many of whom are now turning to drugs will show up students University students that have graduated have no prospect of a decent living will show up. The business community that you've made so much difficult by making the free port of Monrovia with your so-called cargo clearing, cargo tracking system and all the bureaucracy that undermines the private sector, they will show up. As Ambassador Brown keeps saying, this rally is for the library. For those who for the past five years have had to endure your abuse, your Intimidation. This rally is for them. It is their opportunity. Even seditions that you have disappointed, those who were under the rain and sun for you, when you came to power, you abandoned them. You left them to fend for themselves. They are tired with you. They are going to show up. And if you think you're going to rely on the police, guess what? Even if the police are waiting for you on that day, they will show up. You've already seen the signals. For the first time in our country history, as president of the republic, you now have your own security details leaving you on the foreign trip. Defecting. The Liberian people are tired. They've spoken. And on December 17th, they will show up. Again, I want to thank the Liberian people for their resolve. I want to thank the Liberian people for their steadfastness. And together, we will ensure that our country regains its rightful place. Thank you.
so I want to thank Mr. George Twist, Judy Twistner. Thank you, members of the press, for being here. I want to thank the Liberian people for their support, for their patience, for their understanding. I will be brief, which is uncharacteristic. Last night was intended to intimidate and to frighten me. Last night was intended to send a notice of fear. This government is scared. This government is worried. You know, when we were kids, when you do wrong and you know your parents home waiting for you to go home, you can be scared. Nobody needs to tell you to be scared. You yourself can be scared to go home. You know what's waiting there for you. So then I want to be clear. Or clear wrong. President, we have started this. Mr. President, stop. Tell your people, your thugs, to stop. You should know me by now. I said it to your face. You were not qualified to be president. You proved it in five years. Trying to kill me will never stop me from telling you this. You are not fit to be a leader. And I know you're using little Koji. Young man, it's not, we're not even coming from your nose when we're struggling in this country for freedom and peace. You cannot fear me. You can never frighten me. You are a coward. You may come to my face. Don't send kids to get hurt. You are a coward. Hear me well. You say you send people to infiltrate us here having our meeting. You don't need to infiltrate. I'll tell you everything to your face. You let your coaching. Liberian people pay you. The city of Mora pay you to clean up the place. Look at what you have created. You don't worry about that. You can't even do your job. And you want to frighten. You want to send dogs to make me scared. Something in me, Lola, I can get afraid of somebody like you. Snot and nose kill you. I know that somebody can, that can be afraid of you. Your stop. That foolishness you have did here on July 26. It will not happen again. Liberian people are resolved. And you think killing me will stop this rally? You are a fool to think that. We are actually helping this government by giving them the opportunity, by giving the Liberian people an opportunity to air their grievances, to be heard. This is what democracy is about. When snap were coming from your nose, we were here struggling to create a democracy for this place. And you think you can come here and use thoughts to frighten me, to frighten others from this thing? Let the coach be one. Anybody on Team Comics, I mean me, 
you touch, thousands more will stand up, but you will pay, and you will pay dearly. Be glad. I'm, I'm saying my money. You don't go high in corner. You go to in, 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 neg, in ghettos and places to say you're having a meeting to come attack. You little boy, behave yourself. Your job is to clean our city. You're not even cleaning it well. Behave yourself. On December 17, the people of Liberia, you have made our voices stronger. The people of Liberia will speak, and you will never touch one of them. I dare you, I defy you, I defy the president. You popular, what are you scared of? You doing the right thing, what are you scared of? The people say they die. The chance to speak to you, you want to intimidate them? We say peaceful rally. You let your country running all around. The people want to protest. The people want to destroy the country. This is a peaceful rally. And it will happen on December 17th. And it will happen outside. The Samuel kind of those complex. And people will gather from their homes and walk there peacefully. The duty of this government will be to protect them. You better fulfill your responsibility to the people. Or you will not be worthy of being called a government. A government that cannot protect these people for peaceful rally. Peaceful rally. They're acting like a little boy, they have conveyed crime also, or not, not, he know that he has performed poorly also. He has not represented his family well. To go home now, he's scared of going home. You are people waiting for you. You disappointed people, President Weah. You disappointed even your own bodyguard and security. Shame on you. Shame on you. You don't give her a job. No, we'll take it from you democratically. We'll go to elections. We will beat you like old drum. You don't deserve a second term. And that's all we're saying to you. Instead of knocking down and doing the right things for the country, you want to intimidate? You want to frighten us? You want to attack us? You went to your church. You lied on me in the sanctuary. Did I attack you? You got people calling me all kinds of names all over the place. Have I attacked anyone? You are a coward. You're not mad. You're a little gossip. You're following all around over the place. You, you can spoil my name as long as you want to spoil me. The people will turn out on December 17. You will hear them. They pay you. The private plane you are riding, they pay for it. We need to stop this. Some of us make no mistake about it. I'm not criticizing this government from Ghana or from the United States. Little Koji, I'm here. I am right here. Last night when we were doing all our childishness, I told the, I told the men in the studio, continue your show. Those are kids. Be misled. Harm me? You? President, we are, I dare you. Which camera am I looking so the boy can see my face? <laughs> Which one? Oh, wow. Tell these little children, stop abusing and misusing them. Stop. you abusing them. you misusing them. you misleading them. People pay too high a price for the democracy here. And you know, I get calls from some of my friends. They mean well. You know, you have to be careful. You are leaving things. They're not, they're, not, they're not normal people you are dealing with. We'll make them normal. 
and are normal people. Abnormal people should not have power. We make them normal. When we start running away, then we gave them power over us. These bullets are cowards. Let the Kodike stare in my face and talk the trash he's talking. Lying on Milton TNT and other people. How about them? No. No. Let us try. We expect a peaceful rally. And we will have a peaceful rally. It is our right to have a peaceful rally. And we will have it where we pay for, even though I now know we should not have paid for that space. But we pay for it. Outside space, we not even we not we not even use the bathroom of the stadium. We be in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> so what be your problem? Waiting, waiting about that space we can go there. You gave us no legitimate reason except politics. And people say, oh, you know, they want, they, 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 these, these people, they are normal people. They don't want to hate people. You think that you are looking at hate people? You're not normal, we'll make you normal, we'll straighten some of them. No, God of Fisher, you're going to be your job. Your year, the president, the last president from one of your year asked me, Why are you people having a rally? Remember that question from one of them. Why are you people having a rally when, when elections are supposed to be on, I mean, voter registration? You remember the question? So it will be on December 16th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as a man, you yourself, you as a man, when you show, Few days ago, I think like yesterday or day before yesterday, they canceled our home. Our election under threat, our president broke trotting. Our election under threat. And when you look back at all our elections, there has, if any, there has not been a time, if any, that we have had even a bad election on time. The gap was pulling, the gap was pulling, the gap was pulling. I asked the legislature today, take note. The, the election date in 2023 will not be postponed. You'll play all your challenge games, you'll do all the things you want to do. The election date in 2023 will not be postponed. President, we are going to have one second more to be president of our country after the election date. You better have that election and let us beat you properly and send you, and send you back to, to, to Raxi that you're missing. Some people think the children can distract and disturb and make us scared and we run away. Me? 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 The Liberian people? Too many of our friends and brothers, too many of our sisters, too many of our compatriots gave their life for us to not fear. The little Koji stalking us with death threats. Too many. Too many. They can call me all kind of things. I don't even respond. My only response, like Mr. Whistler just said, we are so resolved. December 17, and we are totally united on this. The CP will lead and we are talking to every civil society organization, every religious organization, every civic society, every we've been talking to the police. Liberian people will turn out and they will turn out in mass and they will speak to this government. Even though this government cannot hear and now they show you that they cannot see what people feel. We'll show it to them on that day. People will turn out. And we'll be outside the center kind of those from there. So, Mr. Wisner was supposed to 
address this press conference, but then I know somebody somewhere was going to say, ah, you know that I did a deal last night, the mayor, Ambassador Brown, <laughs> they really don't know me. They really don't know me. I was the calmest person last night. Because I know you can do gym thing. Nothing. They are cowards. You brave come to me. I was sitting in the studio. You knew I was going there. All of them knew I was going there. Then you put children together. You bring in people from all around the place to stop. The rally is December 17th. Liberian people, that is their plan. To scare you by thinking they can scare me. If you scare, stay home. If you enjoy, stay home. If everything okay with you, stay home. If you like the way the government running, stay home, brother. They're running out for you. <clears throat> if you bury more than you can carry, this rally is for you. If you suffer it and nobody can hear you, this rally is for you. And people say, where did the poor get? When, when, when it turned up, it will end their suffering. Yeah, it will begin the process to end their suffering. Because we know these non-leaders we give power to, they will only respond to what the people say. And as far as they're concerned, all of you enjoy it. You're in the market. Sun up to sun down. The thing you enjoy. The children on drugs, the thing you enjoy. Our streets on safe, the thing you enjoy. Seven seven can't tip it, the thing you enjoy. And some of you seven seven you calling me and say, we well, you know that we show up, the people will fire up. How are you making any way? Forty dollars, forty five. Some of you don't even know your salary anymore. Every month it changing. That is if you get it on time. This government is bullying the Liberian people. We will not accept it. People didn't die in this country for a careless government to come here and bully people around and fighting people. You think you can call me means and you intimidate or you put kids in the street to attack me and you intimidate me? They will never. In fact, you made my voice stronger, sir. So we're ready. Liberian people, you have nothing to fear. This is a cowardly uh, 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 act. But cowards, you have nothing to fear. You turn out, nothing will happen. I defy them. I dare them. We know they have people in the back, locking in the back. We have our peaceful rally. They will be peaceful. The government will ensure that it is peaceful. And we will be in the forefront of it. And between now and then, we'll be in popular places. I am going.